people here who are so passionate, so committed to preserving our Burundi population. Look at, look at this magnificent creature behind me. 
How could anybody think that something as beautiful as this deserves to be shot from a helicopter, for goodness sake? No. Do we support management or do we support massacre when it comes to our Brummies? Do we support care or do we support a cull? Care. Do we support science or do we support slaughter? Science. So this is what the Labor government needs to do. It needs to listen. It needs to listen to people who understand the high country. It needs to understand people who, who actually live this. Look at people in bureaucrats and ministers who've never set foot, never set foot in the Barber, never set foot in Sen and Rummy. They don't know what they're talking about, but their decisions could mean the end, the extinction of something that's been such an important part of our heritage, of our culture and of our history. Well, well, to see so many people here today, it sends the message. To see so many people who signed this petition, it sends the message, and this Labor government needs to start listening. We will not accept a slaughter of our natural Brumbies. That's right. Now, the upper house of this parliament has passed a motion calling on the government to stop the slaughter. Yes. Now, it's time for the government to listen. It's time for the government to act. We, this is a government that pretends to care about the environment. Well, these beautiful creatures, they are part of our environment. They've been part of our history, they're part of our heritage, and they are part of our culture. Exactly right. So, I will take this petition, and even though the government didn't have the courage to come down here and meet with you, we will take this petition up those stairs, into those chambers, and we will make sure the government hears your voice that it's time to protect our Brumbies and stop the slaughter. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. We really, really appreciate that. The next person I think I'd like to invite up to speak is Wendy Lovell. Wendy has been a passionate supporter of Victorian Bombies for the last couple of years. So, Wendy, I'd like to ask you please to speak. Go, Wendy! Go, Wendy! Thanks, Marilyn, and it's been more than the last couple of years. It's been my entire life that I've supported the Brumbies. But um, it was my motion that went before the upper house that called on the Victorian government to stop the shooting of the Brumbies. That motion was not just passed by the upper house, it was passed without any opposition. So the government members could not even vote against it. There were six government ministers who could not even support their own policy to shoot the Brumbies. This, mo this motion called on the parliament, called on the government to stop this shooting, but the government have just ignored it. Just as Lily D'Ambrosio has re ignored you today and has refused to come out and accept your petition. Michael and I will take your petition we will make sure it gets to Lily and that she sees these 178,000 signatures on this petition. This is not the only petition. I've presented petitions on your behalf before. We still have e-petitions online now. Please encourage all Victorians to sign the e-petition so that we can send strong messages to the government that thousands and thousands, in fact the vast majority of Victorians do not support the shooting of the Brumbies. I think Melbourne people, when they know the plight of the Brumbies, will be horrified. No one supports the shooting of horses, particularly the inhumane shooting from helicopters that will maim some horses and see them die in extreme um, pain and discomfort. So I'll continue fighting for you as long as it takes. We want to see our Brumbies remain... on sanctuaries but in the wild. We want to see the, the culture and heritage of Australia preserved. If you think back, think back to the 2000 Olympics, what was the image that Australia chose to portray to the world the heritage of, and culture of our land? It was the mountain cattlemen and their pursuit of the wild bush horses. As Banjo Patterson so eloquently put in his uh, poem, the man from Snowy River. We want to see that culture um, remain and I will continue to fight with you and for you. Well done. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much.
Where do we want it? Now! 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 Now!